Hi guys and welcome. I'm Philip English from Robofield.com and on this video we're doing an interview with Jean-Luc Janduzo from F&B Personal Robotics. We managed to speak to Jean-Luc at the Inner Robo 2015 Robot Exhibition in France, Lyon. F&B Robotics is headquartered in Zurich, Switzerland, develops and produces innovative personal robots which safely collaborate with humans. F&P offers complete robotic solutions having established expertise in both ARM, which is P-ROB, and Effector, which is P-GRIP technologies. Right, hi guys, uh, Philip English. Uh, so we're here um, at another stand. So uh, please, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Jean-Luc Janduzo. I'm a member of the board of a company, uh, F&P Robotics in Switzerland. And uh, yeah, we are building and uh, producing and designing uh, new type of robots, collaborative robots, uh, that are different and I will explain I mean, how different it is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean obviously we've got the robot here, it looks like it's got lots of protection on him, it looks a very very interesting robot, so can you explain him to, 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 to me a little bit more? Yeah, safety is very important, so I mean we have taken several uh, approach, I mean one of them is really to have I mean, a robot that is not, you know, this metallic kind of things, I mean that's a uh, special fabric, I mean like in your car, you know, you feel warm and uh, we have got up, uh, very good feedback I mean, from customers and from also operators to sit, uh, you know, close to the robot, because I think you need to you know, make sure also that um, uh, it's 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 really uh, safe for you. I think I mean and safe for the environment. Yeah, we have an all-in-one system uh, encompassing the the arm, uh, the grippers with uh, a lot of uh, sensors in the fingers that can be you know uh, changed, uh, adjusted. I mean depending on the application, and we have also uh, the embedded PC. Uh, so that means that you can uh, really get a suitcase with this robot and just get the robots outside of the suitcase and ready to be used, uh, full system working, you know, from uh, day one with a you know, very special also uh, uh, quite uh, new uh, user interface, you know, we are using also web services in order to integrate the robot, I mean, with different type of applications, so you know, pretty, uh, I would say, leading edge uh, technology. Okay, yeah, I mean, so when you say, obviously, like, you, you can bring it along and get it out, so what, what, what would be a typical type of, um, like, scenario of that, or like an application? So I mean, I mean, uh, just to demo. I mean, first, I mean, it takes really ten minutes. I mean, to just to set up the the, uh, the robot. Then I think because we are using you know, mainly uh, your teaching uh, kind of uh, uh, approach. I mean, almost anybody can very quickly use it. I mean, in about you know fifteen to thirty minutes, you know, you know how to do that. So that means the the, the purpose of this robot is really that uh, you can uh, use it in a different type of the day of the week, I mean, to do different type of tasks. So you don't need, you know, to be a, a PhD or to be a, even an engineer, I mean, to do that. You need to be able to, you know, take it, move it, do the task you want very easily and to teach it uh, on a regular basis uh, without, you know, uh, thinking about the training you got, I mean, maybe uh, several months ago. So that's really the, the, the value proposition we bring. I see, yeah. So obviously, like, it's quite a speed thing. So you can put it down, get it set up. The software's nice and easy to use. You can go, right, I want it to pick up an object nice and quick and fast. So, Absolutely. okay, so good solution. So how fast does the robot go? Is, it, is there a speed li li limit? Yeah, thing I mean, it can go uh, very fast, but then it's limited, I mean, just because of safety. So in general, I mean, it's, uh, you know, 120 degrees I mean, per second. I mean, I mean but in, we, we reduce depending on the application, depending on where it sits, you know. So I think there is this flexibility that depends on each application. But typically, you know, uh, we have uh, sales of uh, six, seven people working together. And this robot is going to be, you know, a, 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 a collaborative uh, co-worker, I mean, for this, uh, these people. So it needs to work at the pace or a little bit, you know, higher pace as, uh, as, uh, as people, but not really fast like you, you see in the food industry, you know, all these things, because it would be very dangerous. It's so it's too fast. Okay. I mean, um, what about the weight of it? Yeah, it's about uh, 12 kilos, I mean, uh, this one, so you can really, I mean, uh, uh, in general, I mean, just you know, bring it and then, you know, uh, to go to customers, we take it, I mean, in a regular suitcase, which obviously, I mean, with some forms, I mean, inside, but it's uh, it's really too easy to carry, I would say. Yeah. No, that makes sense. So, so like, what would be the future of um, of these types of robots? I mean, like, product-wise, is this like a, so? I can see you've got this one. There's another robot just standing over there. So, is, is there a new version that's going to come out, or is it was it seen? Well, we have currently, I mean, different type of uh, robots. You know, depending on the, what we call the degree of freedom. So, what you know, you can do. So, four, four, five, six. I think there is also some compact version that are. 
uh, that's going. So it really depends where you want to, uh, to to put these robots. There is also possibility to put two robots, you know, on a uh, on a on a kind of body. So I think this is all this f flexibility that are uh, um, you know already. I mean, almost uh, in and now it's we are, it's more uh, about uh, applications. You know, I mean, uh, which kind of industry uh, we are we are playing. I mean, it's, it's it's very broad. I would say. Uh, what we can do with the, with, uh, with such a robot. Okay, no, that's brilliant. Well, thanks very much for uh, the for the overview. Uh, looks like a brilliant product. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Brilliant, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the interview and I want to say a big thank you to John Luke from FMB Robotics for his time and the interview. If you want to learn more about FMB Robotics, I've put in the links below for your review. Now, if you like this interview and want to see even more robot news, reviews, and tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. If you have any questions or want to see a product review of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.